Thy voice is like a fountain leaping up in clear moonshine, silver, silver, ever mounting, ever sinking without thinking to that brimful heart of thine. Every sad and happy feeling thou hast had in bygone years, through thy lips come stealing, stealing, clear and low, all the smiles and all thy tears in thy voice awaken, and sweetness wove of joy and woe from their teaching it hath taken. Feeling and music together, like a swan and shadow ever, floating on a sky-blue river in a day of cloudless weather. It hath caught a touch of sadness, yet it is not sad. It hath tones of clearest gladness, yet it is not glad. A dim, sweet twilight voice it is, where today's accustomed blue is overgrayed with memories, with starry feelings quivered through. Thy voice is like a fountain, leaping up in sunshine bright, and I never weary counting, is clear droppings, lone and single, or when in one full gush they mingle, shooting in melodious light. Thine is music such as yields, feelings of old brooks and fields, and around this pent-up room sheds a woodland free perfume. O oh, thus forever sing to me, O oh, thus forever. The green bright grass of childhood bring to me, flowing like an emerald river, and the bright blue skies above, O oh, sing them back as fresh as ever into the bosom of my love. The sunshine and the merriment, the unsought evergreen content of that never cold time, the joy that like a clear breeze went through and through the old time. Peace sits within thine eyes, with white hands crossed in joyful rest, while through thy lips and face arise the melodies from out thy breast. She sits and sings with folded wings and white arms crossed. Weep not for bygone things, they are not lost. The beauty which the summer time or thine opening spirit shed, the forest oracles sublime that filled thy soul with joyous dread, the scent of every smallest flower that made thy heart sweet for an hour. Yea, every holy influence flowing to thee, thou knewest not whence. In thine eyes today is seen, fresh as it has ever been. Promptings of nature beckoning sweet, whatever led thy childish feet, still with linger unawares the gilders of thy silver hairs. Every look and every word which thou givest forth today Tell of the singing of the bird whose music stilled thy boyish play. Thy voice is like a fountain twinkling up in sharp starlight. When the moon behind the mountain dims the low east with faintest white. Ever darkling, ever sparkling, we know not if tis dark or bright. But when the great moon rolled around, and sudden slow its solemn power grows from behind its black clear edged bound. No spot of dark the fountain keepeth, but swift as opening eyelids sleepeth into a waving silver flower.